Oh, it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty special, honestly. Uh, just the you know, reception from my teammates, the crowd, I mean, everything. It just, uh, you know, it just kind of sends chills down your bones. Um, but, yeah, just uh, you know, kind of hard to put into words, you know? Yeah, you, you said something he'll never forget. That's, that's it, right? It's, uh, you know, even and if I, he never wins anything, it'll be Dennis Marouk and can sign hats. I, I, I get all of it, and I don't blame him one bit about uh, – the attitude towards mm -hmm. uh, getting 60. And we heard him say, for the most part, all the right things before and after in the last week. And especially with Sean McKenzie during an interview where he said, it's not the end of the world. Right. But I told the boys, I'm, I'm shooting. I'm shooting it. I love that. I, and, you know, it's, it does go to show. See, I, I, got a, I got two sides of it, right? Yeah. And that is that it just emphasizes what last night's game was all about, and that was Austin getting 60. And Jack stopping the puck. Uh, sure. That was the whole thing. And I think it should have been about Austin Matthews getting 60 in a team. You're playing one of the worst teams in the league, and he's uh, two away versus a not very good goalie. I think that's kind of what it should be about. I like, mean, along which, the which way, is, they got home ice advantage yes, in the postseason. That, that, that happened. That, that works. Which is fine as long as between now and what we think could be game one that you can flip the switch and get everybody back on mm -hmm. a, a page that says we got to be at the top of our game i didn't particularly like austin's game in the last week no no yeah no, no it I, was probably... and for, for good reason mm -hmm. it was geared towards 60 it was geared towards his attitude where i'm shooting it mm -hmm. and you, Detroit knew it. I, they did a piss poor job, but they still knew it. Yeah, uh, Florida knew it. I mean, there there was there was a scenario where this isn't this isn't about our, our shaping up our team game. This is about getting a guy to shoot as many pucks as he can until he gets sixty. I think most coaches would say if my guy can toggle to a mindset where he scores twice, uh, great. You know, don't really care what else happens. So I I think they're pretty okay with so, the way things and. They'll talk about the way they're going into the playoffs. I think just to talk about how all these teams are going in, I I think the the Lightning have been winning a lot, obviously, and they're getting hot. But it's not like there's one team that's had to be fighting for their lives that finds a way in, and they've been playing playoff hockey all the yeah. way down the stretch. Like, everybody's kind of known for a long time. And I think they're going to have lots of practice time here up until the playoffs start. Like, I think it's easier to kind of flip the switch because uh, you're not playing against another team that's been fighting for their lives like Tampa was when Columbus got them or something like right. that. we got a terrific show coming up. Uh, we're so glad everybody's on board here live on our Sportsnet uh, YouTube channel, uh, wherever you're downloading us on on, on uh, the various podcast platforms. We're, we're so happy that you're aboard. We've also got Gord Stella coming up in about 15 minutes. Adam Oates in about uh, 40 minutes will stop by. And uh, if there's anyone that... Uh, know something about 60 goal scores it's him he experienced it twice in his career with the likes of brett hull mm -hmm. and steve eiserman in detroit in the second hour sean reynolds will come by and he'll t kind of put a bow on uh, the winnipeg jets season and what we can uh, anticipate from here on in out west and sammy if i'm not mistaken uh we're are we teeing up leaf tickets this week yeah, that's for game one. Yeah, we're not giving them away yet today. Not but, yet, but but yeah. But just know that we will be, and uh, to tune in, I think Friday, right? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. Yeah. It is a big deal. So you can watch Steven Stamkos' hat trick in game one. Ah, oh, don't say don't, that. Easy, good, easy. Good vibes only today. Easy. Uh, let's let's get back to Austin Matthews before you run away with that thought. <laughs> you know what might be much. a good way to get back into Matthews is you mentioned Adam Oates is coming on with us. Great passer. A guy who set up Hull and uh, who's the other one? Iserman, a kajillion times each. Uh, Matthews had some nice things to say about Mitch Marner. Uh, you know, you don't get to 60 without playing with some good teammates. Why don't we go there next and listen to Matthews on Marner? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, all this doesn't really happen without him. I think, um, you know, he's been such a big part um, of our team's success. And then, you know, individually for myself, I think um, we're just trying to grow, grown together as individuals and as players and leaders on this team. And, um, you know, he's a big reason why, um, you know, the success that we've had this year. So, um, you know, I owe him a couple... Uh, 
I owe him a couple. He gave me a couple nice passes tonight. But, um, you know, like I said, he's uh, he's been huge for us all year. He's been uh, unbelievable, especially when he came back from injury. He's just been driving this team. Well, and there's no question he knows it after uh, various disappointments that no two guys will carry more weight going into game one. Together. With him and Mitch. Yeah. 100%. And, you know, it was a thing all year where people like myself kept saying, give Tavares Marner, give Tavares Marner. But these two didn't want it to happen, but, right? Like, yeah. There's no way Matthews gets to 60 without Marner, like he said in his clip. Like, yeah. there's a lot. I wonder, I maybe mean, probably could have looked this up before the show, but how many assists he had directly on Matthews' goals. It probably feels like it was 25, 30 times that he was right there getting it. So I, I like, it's really nice for him to take the time to say that in the post game because he's really important, obviously. Yeah. And it just feels like, for obvious reasons, everything's been geared, the attention, uh, the ice time. I think he double-shifted a couple times. The extended uh, power play time that Austin hung around. I thought the power play was a little awkward because they were, like, just looking for, for him at times, right? And it was like, all right, you know. But the the last one when he got it, they yeah. were kind of firing it from all over the place, and they weren't necessarily really passing it to him a whole lot. It was almost like they were – over like double thinking it being like hey we we are thinking about matthews but we don't want to make it look like we're trying to pass to matthews all the time <laughs> yeah. so let's get a couple yeah. shots mission here. not accomplished no i know that. but it kind of i don't know it's a nice yeah. goal anyway and then the, the other the other question mark and not to get too off topic but you we we brought in marner in the conversation is here's a guy that's going uh, uh for 100 points on friday and will it get the attention or the love from either your coach or your other players to really focus in and help Mitch hit a hundred. Like you just helped Austin get 60. I don't see that happening here. No, I think it's the game before playoffs here. He's three points away, not one. I, you know, I, I, I did, th I do think that Keith said today though, that they will take it into consideration about, about how their lineup looks on Friday. Right. Yeah. We got the clip on here. Sure. Yeah, it, yeah, it does, and it will. Um, you know, at the same time, 